Hello everyone, welcome back. Kara, yeah, did not sound like me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is Sweet Sailor Sketches, and today I'm going to be doing something that we all have experienced. Okay, be honest. How many whips do you have right now? WIPs, whips, whip work in progresses, you know. How many? So many. Today I'm going to be tackling two whips that I just have not gotten a hold of. And I technically forgot about them twice, but I'll talk that more about that later. They are both from this sketchbook tour, and I highly recommend that you watch that because there are three sketchbooks that you're gonna miss out on if you don't watch that video. These sketches shall be forgot no more because today we are going to color them. So yeah, let's get right on with the video. Whee! So for this drawing, <laughs> uh, I actually did this one around three months ago, so it really fits the title. I forgot about it twice. <laughs> and it's not really like I forgot about it, it's just that I got working on other projects and it just kept on getting pushed to the side because I didn't want to finish the next drawing because it was so difficult for me to do. But I ended up liking both of them a lot, but this one was finished three months ago. And the one I just finished, which is the second drawing you're gonna see, I started three months ago and I finished it like yesterday. So <laughs> I swear to God, I usually when I am doing finished illustrations, especially if it's for videos, I usually do it in like a week or less because you know, I'm so focused on getting stuff for videos done. But I guess I had so many other video ideas that I wanted to do at the time that I just kind of forgot about these guys. I'm not really the kind of artist that has a bunch of whips or work in progresses, at least not serious ones. Like I have so many sketches that are just sitting waiting to be colored in or whatever but those aren't things that I actually like made out to be a full finished project. I always like try to finish all my stuff when it's something for you guys or something that is for someone else because I like feel a, a really need to do that because you know it's not just for me it's for other people. But yeah this is like the first time that I've ever just completely forgotten about something that I plan to do. If you're wondering who this handsome devil is quite literally he is my OC and those of you who have seen him before know that he does not have a name. Yes I may him over seven months ago but he doesn't have a name it's genuinely the hardest part about designing a character is picking the name especially if it's a fantasy character because if it's not a fantasy character you can just be like i don't know his name's like dylan but <laughs> girly pop his name is not dylan <laughs> i know everything about this character down to the entire backstory and his personality and how he interacts with the other characters that are in his life but i do not know his name someone said that i should name him lazarus and i was like i don't know i feel like lazarus is like such an old person name like I don't, Sorry to people who are named Lazarus, but like, dude. It's just, it kind of sounds like an old person name. I don't know if I've ever, sh ever shared this, but he's like, <laughs> he's a supernatural of sleep, like nightmares and dreams and stuff like that. So I was thinking if I named him Lazarus, people could call him lazy because like sleep lazy and he even though he's not lazy he's probably like one of the most work hardworking supernaturals because he barely ever gets any sleep because he used to have someone else that would handle um nightmares when he handled dreams but that person is now not in his life anymore and he has to handle both dreams and nightmares which is a lot of work for one supernatural and the a god figure in this story doesn't care and says that he can do it and it's his responsibility and he just has to go with along with it because it's literally just God. What is he supposed to do? He's a very grumpy person. Like he's very grumpy serious and it could be a part of like the fact that he lost that person and also the fact that broski literally never sleeps. He looks like a walking snowball. I don't know. He He's he's very pale. He just appears very sickly because supernaturals as like as much as they don't have human health problems they can they still need like to rest and sleep and recharge. It doesn't like make them completely hallucinate -y, hallucinated -y 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 -y. because they're not humans and it doesn't affect them the same way, but it does make them a little bit like vampire looking. He's not a vampire, all right? He's just a demon, okay? And he wasn't supposed to be a demon and then he was because of agony and it's like not his fault. And he's such a baby and I love him so much. I know that I used to like talk about my comic all the time. I kind of fell out of working on it because I mean, just making these videos is so ridiculous 
ridiculously hard. I spent around eight or nine hours on this drawing and then the next drawing you're gonna see I spent around 13 to 14 hours and that was just the time that was recorded. I don't know like how much time I spent off recording because I do not record my entire process. Usually I skip certain parts to make it like a little bit more interesting or like not as boring to look at for the speed paint. I spend 20 plus hours on my digital art videos and I want to do them a lot more often because I love digital art. It's super fun. I don't want to just do traditional videos. Who is texting me? Oh my god, I'm gonna turn my notifications off. Give me two seconds. Oh my balls. As much as I would love to work on my comic, I just don't see it happening. Like, I have the entire plot planned out in my head, but since I'm the only person that is working on it, it's just impossible. If I had time and if it was paying me, then I would. And I know that YouTube isn't paying me, but it is about to because we are almost at 4,000 watch hours. This is your sign to open up a new tab and play the same video while you're watching it at a, at a lower volume because that's what I used to do before Apple Mint because I thought it would give her so much more money if I watched two videos at the same time. I was like 11, okay? <laughs> his character design has always been flip-flopping around. I designed his entire like vest cape thing in this drawing because I knew that I wanted him to have one. I had never drawn him in color before. It had only been in sketches and stuff. I knew that I wanted him to have a very night themed color scheme. So I kind of gave him like a starry night vest thing. And it, the plan is that it is like glowing and starry nighty like. It's, you know, since he's a supernatural, he can have fancy clothing. Why not? It's a fantasy world for him, okay? It's a fantasy world for me. But his hair is held up by a moon, like, hair clip kind of thing, and I think it's the coolest thing in the world. Um, I do think I make it silver later on, but I do not remember. I really hate the color navy blue because of- A uniform that I used to have to wear every single day. So I don't like using it. I just kind of had to because it's like, Broski's the super natural of dreams and nightmares so like it's kind of like the night sky you kind of need it but I ended up switching the ruffles on his boots to like a pre-drawn ruffle brush because I was like bitch I'm not drawing all that and ugh, the little scalloped edges did not look good I feel like he's much more girly pop than this so I needed to give him those fancy ruffles my man in heels my pretty boy my amazing I love him so much like I love all of my characters but I feel like I have developed his story so much like, like, of course, Agony has a story, but it's not as well thought out or planned as his. Like, I just kind of fell in love with this little douche. The thing is, like, I'm not gonna, like, tell you everything about it, because what if I do one day get to working on my comic? It's, like, with the supernaturals in my, in my story, it's kind of like there's a hierarchy, and God is also the devil, but no one knows that. When God favors a supernatural, they will bring them, like, higher up in the hierarchy whichever way it goes because it's not like it's not like god doesn't want there to be demons because god is also the devil. It's just whatever mood that they're in and typically supernaturals strive to be angels because they get better treatment from God. From the supernatural's point of view, when you are closer to being a devil, you are condemned by God and God doesn't love you. But when you're an angel, God loves you and gives you perks. So the best simplified way to think of it is like a number line with the negative numbers not actually being negative in the sense that it's bad. Besides the fact that it's like being a literal demon. We have to remember that God and the devil are not different people. They are the same person or supernatural or whatever being you want to call them. Without good, there's no bad. Without bad, there's no good. So God tricks basically the entire supernatural community. I don't know how to address them. They're just little freaky dudes. Just fools them into thinking that they are two different people to keep the order of quite literally everything intact, but it's just, it's really complicated. I don't know how to describe it. It's a really complicated plot and there's so many supernatural characters that I've come up with with different stories, but it's just a lot for me to try and do on my own and I would love, love, love to continue making my comic and it's, I love my characters, but I just don't see it happening really soon. I do have like literally Literally the first chapter already all drawn out, but I have decided to switch it to a scrolling format. So in order for me to post that, I would have to reconfigure all of the panels into a scrolling format because they are all in page format at the moment. I do have the entire story in my head and how it would go. I just don't have time to 
put it down on paper because it's a lot of drawing and I mean maybe it's something I could do for streaming for watch hours maybe that's something I would like to do it's just really hard to find time to work on it when you spend so much time on your videos every week and that's like the 20 hours drawing does not include like the 10 plus hours editing and yes it, I spend 10 plus hours editing I don't know why I just, just like and you can't even really tell most of the time it's just me doing tiny little finicky things that aren't really noticeable but yeah oh my god this is pretty boy I might be naming him Lazarus so I could call him lazy or Laz because it's kind of cute it's a goofy aha name but I like it but tee hee hee ha 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 let's actually talk about the actual drawing <laughs> Good lord. I would say that my favorite part of this entire drawing is definitely the boots. Not so much like the floofy parts at the top just because, you know, I didn't draw them so it's kind of like, you know, not my favorite part. My favorite part is the shading on the brown part of the boots. I feel like I really popped off. I haven't, like, I haven't even touched this drawing in like three months as I've already mentioned, but I do really like the way that the pants and the boots look. I feel that they look amazing. I'm not super duper 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 happy with the hair. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's too complicated. I tend to really delve deep into the way that I shade hair like too far <laughs> so much so that it just it looks too detailed compared to the rest of the drawing which is why I've been trying to recently try and make my clothing shading also much more detailed which is something that you will see in the next drawing which has two people did I ever mention that oh my god I'm drawing three people in this video it's like almost like it's three drawings I genuinely cannot believe that I forgot about these drawings two times like of of course the first time doesn't really like super duper count. They were just traditional sketches in my sketchbook that I wanted to turn into digital art and I just say oh I forgot about it. Well I did but then I found it. Then whilst I was working on not forgetting it, I forgot it again for like four months. LOL. I'm so good at this. I really like the way that this drawing turned out. Make sure to stick to the end to see the entire finished drawing. Yeah, let's move on to the next drawing. And this next drawing, I actually gave a little bit of a warning about as like, make sure to look out for this. Cause I thought I was gonna upload it like two weeks after my sketchbook tour because in my sketchbook tour, this is one of the pages. And I was like, hey, this is gonna be going out soon. <laughs> <laughs> literally three months later. But if you haven't already, make sure to go watch that sketchbook tour. There are three sketchbooks that are toured in that sketchbook tour. I definitely like my current sketchbook a lot more because I've been practicing how to be more scrapbooky with my sketchbook. You can see like the start of that little journey for me. I was scrolling on Pinterest one day. I remember I was balls deep in art block. Absolutely miserable, didn't know what to draw. And then I went on Pinterest and I saw a bunch of little tiny, cute little clown chibis. And I was like, oh my God, this is the cutest thing in the world. And I was like, oh my God, I like clowns. I don't like them. I like them, they're fun to draw. I was horrified of them as a child and I still think that they're kind of freaky, but I do find them quite delightful. Also, if you're wondering, which <laughs> you aren't, cause you don't know. In the first Turning Stuffed Animals, first and only I should say, Turning Stuffed animals into drawings video. I drew a clown and the other day my sister bought me a little matching one that's a little bit bigger. So now I have two. That might pop up in the next one, although I don't really know. Also another one of that series is coming out soon. Better late than ever. As much as I really like the sketch that I did for this, I feel like I could have gone with a little bit of perspective to make it more intimidating because I kind of wanted this to be like, you know how clowns can be, or like they're spooky and sometimes they can be portrayed as cute before spooky, but you want them to be cute and spooky. I feel like I could have gone with a little bit of a worm's eye view a little bit. Not super much, not like totally worm's eye view, but like if we were like a little bit below them kind of thing and they were like looking down on us, it's kind of creepy and it's like kind of a moment, but I didn't do that. And I kind of regret it because I feel like I could have added so much to this. Honestly, one of the reasons that I quote unquote forgot about this drawing for so long after forgetting about it for the first time was because I just really did not like the way that this drawing was going. I was very mad at it. It was something that that I had drawn during art block and it was something that I liked. Three months after I drew it, I tried to pick it up again. When I brought it into digital, it just did not look the way that I wanted it to. It, it, it just took me a lot to finish this. I would, someone's car going off? Okay, we're gonna ignore that. I would say that the hardest part about this is definitely the colors. I really wanted it to be super colorful and I wanted to include almost every single color. I think the only color I didn't really include was orange. I just wanted it to be super colorful because clowns are super colorful, blah, 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 blah. I just feel like the colors don't mesh that much together. And I did fix it in the end. I did add another like overlay layer that made all the colors like in the same schmeeg. Basically, I just added a blending layer. I think that's the name for it at the setting of 
saturation with like a reddish color to make all of the colors just really saturated and that brought all of them closer to like the same color palette. I feel like all the colors were like really out of whack before. In the end, I do think I really should have checked my values but I didn't and all the values are pretty similar. All the colors in the characters are very similar in value. I really should have checked that but I didn't and it's okay. I know what I messed up. I'm gonna learn from it next time and I don't think that this piece looks absolutely horrible, wretched, disgusting. I actually quite like it. This clown drawing is one of the first digital things that I've colored in a while. In this past few months, the only thing that I've really done digitally is that mermaid mermaid collab I did with all my friends and then also all the thumbnails that I do but like I don't really know if that counts. Like of course it counts, like there's so many drawings that I do for my thumbnails and you're gonna appreciate it because oh my god I, I do full ass drawings for all of my thumbnails and they take me like an hour or two hours to do. I keep on meaning to stream when I'm doing those but I always find myself either in the middle of night drawing them or not at my house drawing them. There's never a good time to stream. Something's always happening when I want to. Every single time I tell myself that I'm gonna stream more, it never happens. So we're gonna reverse psychology this and say, I'm never gonna stream again. Wink, 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 wink. Please God, please help. <laughs> my whole fight, my inner- shut up Rosie! My whole inner fight of like with this drawing being like I didn't like it was mostly with the character on the left. I absolutely love the design that I made for the character on the right. I feel like it's fun, it's colorful. They look like such a chill person or like not eccentric person in such a fun and colorful outfit and it's kind of silly, it's kind of goofy and I'm kind of loving it. But with the character on the left, it just- I love the creepy aspect of their face. They look so 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 unhinged and it's super fun to draw but I was trying to like separate the outfit so much from the person on the right that I just ended up not really liking the colors. Like I gave them green hair and I don't really know if green hair is really what I was going for. And I don't know. I mean, I like I like the outfit in general, but I feel like it would look better in its own piece, like not next to the character on the right. I don't know. I just, there's no purple in the character on the right. And I, I did that on purpose. Like I wanted to have at least one color where it's only on each of the characters. Yellow and blue, I think, is only on the character on the right. And purple is the only color on the person on the left because I do change the person on the left's eye color to red later and I feel like that's like one of the best choices that I made because I feel like it's like super spooky and really cool and it'll later match the background as you will see later. Later, later, later. I didn't struggle too much with the shading and rendering on the character on the right but the character on the left gave me a little bit of a fist in the face. Coloring the skin was for some reason super difficult and I think it's because I was going through a little bit of a digital art block. Not traditional but just digital because I hadn't done it in so long and I didn't know what I was doing. But I really like the shading on the character's skin on the right, not on the left. This hoe does not look right. Something's wrong with it. In the end, it looks okay. But like when I was doing it, I was like, wow, this is like probably the worst shading job I've ever done on a skin color. And it's just like, <laughs> I don't really know how to feel about the shading that I did on the clothing for both characters because I don't really know how to shade clothing that well. And I wish I did know how, but I am the kind of person that it takes an army to sit me down for me to watch a tutorial. Like, it's not that I'm like insecure about using a tutorial and then I think that it's like making me less of an artist. I just don't ever get around to it. Like I am so, so lazy. Yeah, there are a bunch of things that I want to learn and it would probably take me around like two weeks to watch all the tutorials that I want to watch, but like I just can't get around to it. It's been years, literal years. Oh, this is why I think that I have ADHD. <laughs> for those of you who have been wondering, there's probably like three of you who are wondering. We passed 2,000 subscribers and I am so incredibly proud. If you remember, I've said it in a few videos, I will be having a little video series go up where I draw with you guys on a drawing program like Magma or maybe something else, I don't really know right now because I passed the 2,000 milestone. Currently at the moment, the only way for me to do that is to be able to open a Discord chat and it's gonna take me a while to get to it because not only do I have to learn how to do it, but I also have to get people who will help me run it. I'm just gonna be completely transparent right now and just say that I am really struggling to get my schoolwork done yet again. And honestly, it's it's most of it is really not my fault. I had my surgery at the beginning of the year, which put me off like two months from when I started school. Like it literally obliterated everything that I was trying to work on. I wasn't really able to do anything. So that was two months checked off the board. I just kept on taking days off to either hang out with my sister or to work on videos and now I just have one class left but it's 
the most difficult class, English. I I love writing essays, I really do, but I hate like grammatical things because it I'm I I I'm illiterate. <laughs> and I just like don't really care. Honestly, I wish I could be like, I'm gonna get to it as fast as I can, but I will get to it when I get to it. I just don't know how this Discord chat thing is going to go. Honestly, you're just gonna have to like deal with it. It might be a little bit before it gets going, but it'll get going at some point. I promise you that it will. Even if it's like three months from now. To try and make up for that fact, I decided to go absolutely ham on the hair. Like, oh my god, why? Why are you doing this to yourself? I spent probably at least, like, I know this seems like I'm exaggerating, but I probably spent like five hours on the hair. Why do I do this to myself? Like I didn't record most of it because it's so te it's like such a tedious thing to do and I wasn't like home at the time. Not that that matters. I was using a different tablet. I was just sitting there doing my hair. Not my hair. My yeah, my hair's green now. I was doing this hair and it just, it was one of the most mind numbing things because it's just over and over and over and over again. And I don't know why I decided to make this character's hair so long. I posted a little thing about it on my community tab. I was like, I think I might have just screwed myself over here. And I did, oh my God. It is not the best time in the world, but I do really like the end result. I feel like it was worth it even though I was ready to jump off a bridge with my drawing tablet, chuck it down there, make it explode, and then land in a somersault roll. Completely fine, no injuries. Rar. You know, as much as I do really like the result of the hair, I feel like my favorite part of this entire drawing is the little fluff balls on the character on the left. It's like little mini chunks of like how I shade hair. Like I love shading short hair because I feel like it's so fun to do and it's not so tedious. So doing those little poof balls was so fun and oh my god, I love it so much. At some part, I don't know what part, but at some part in the future, as in in the next like 30 seconds, you're gonna be able to see a complete switch from the facial expression and just in general the entire face of the person on the left because I decided to make an entire rendering folder above all of my line art specifically so that I could fix the face because like as much as I do love the unhinged look I have to tone it down a little bit mostly because the proportions aren't super correct on this person so I used that rendering layer above all of it to just make it so that it made a little bit more sense even with the pointy teeth I mean it's a moment it's a slay we're going to ignore the fact that it just looks so much smoother than the rest of the piece. Maybe you just want to look at this person's face. Maybe that's maybe that was my goal to bring your attention right there. Look at look at them peepers. Look at them eyeballs. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Typically when I don't really like the way that a piece is going, I will add some random dramatic light source to make it a little bit more interesting. So that's what I did. I had this little background with the checkered floor pattern because I feel like that's such a spooky, clowny kind of thing. Like, I don't know. It, it kind of gives Freddy Fazballs, but like we're gonna walk past that. You're gonna forget about it. And it's like just this random void with this checkered floor. And then I put just a light directly going on them. That's my favorite kind of lighting to do. I don't know why. It's just really fun. It's like a spotlight. I feel like spotlights are super fun. It's only coming from one direction, so it's like simple-ish to do. Two light sources is something that I do struggle with. Three is something that I will never be able to comp- <laughs> something that I will never be able to accomplish on my own without watching some form of tutorial or using some form of reference. I really enjoy the art that I made in this video. I feel like I really challenged myself and I did forget about these, both of these, twice, so it really fits the title and the thumbnail. So, <laughs> I love you all so much. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Go to the outro, because I'm so cool like that. Also, there will be a video addressing my Draw This In Your Style challenge very soon. Yay.
this is how the video turned out. As you do know, I really hated the clown drawing at first and I was ready to throw it out the window. Hee 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 ha ha. I feel like I really pulled it together in the end and it is one of my favorite digital art pieces now. Nothing will ever top that one worst drawing redraw that I did with the orange hair. Pretty Boy is as pretty as ever. Might be calling him Lazarus from now on. Might be calling him Lazy. There, as I said, there will be an announcement about my Draw This In Your Style at the end of the month, as in who wins. <laughs> and I will be making a video out of the prizes because all the prizes are drawings. Yeah, when that happens, that happens. So it'll be happening sometimes at the end of the month, the announcement of the winners. And then when they contact me, I'll give them their prizes, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be making more videos like this because I have a lot of sketches that I want to turn into digital art. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I love you all so much and I hope to see you guys next time. See you guys next Sunday.